drones in the air throwing bombs, robotic tanks firing bullets, and young soldiers controlling robots with their fingers. It's the arena of Robot Master 2017, an annual robotic competition for Chinese college students, simulating the future battlefield. And this year, the South China University of Technology won the trophy and a prize of 200,000 renminbi. You can see that all our robots are very powerful because we put a lot of effort into enhancing them, like the structural design, software reliability, and shooting accuracy. That's how we won the championship today. Xuan's team consists of some 20 students who have devoted almost all of their spare time to building these robots. We've been developing these robots since October and didn't even stop for the summer and winter vacations. But it's really worth it. You can feel how heavy this trophy is. Over 200 universities and more than 7,000 student engineers from around the world registered for the Robot Master 2017 games. The Robot Masters battlefield is actually familiar to anyone who's played a MOBA like the League of Legends or Dota. Two teams working to destroy the opposing base. But what makes those young engineers feel differently is that they are really making a change in the real world. You play a game to enjoy it, but with this robot competition, it's like raising your baby, which makes it more fun. Playing video games is virtue, it's not real. But here, we can build our own robots and turn things in our mind into reality. It's more real and cool. Combat robots fighting tooth and nail also attract huge audiences on the internet. The organizers hope more young people will be inspired to become engineers who will build China's future. I'm good at math and science, so like, eventually I might go into this kind of stuff. Smart is the new cool. With more competitions like this, geeks could be the new idols in China. Ge Yunfei, CGTN, Shenzhen.